Hello, my name is Mike Rosinski. Today I'm going to be going over the Krypton Lab from the Over the Wire website. I think this uh, entire challenge was a really good uh, exercise in terms of uh, learning about cryptography, uh, ciphers, uh, encryption, in terms of it goes into you know, monoalphabetic ciphers, polyalphabetic ciphers, uh, through a really cool SSH server and, and challenges to find the password or the flag or capture the flag kind of thing and go into the next level. You see there's seven levels here. And we're just going to jump right in. So level 0 to level 1. So welcome to Krypton. Uh, this first level is easy. The following string encodes the password using base64. And it gives us a string. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this for right now. So use this password to log into this SSH domain on this username on this port. So base64 uh, is just a simple encryption scheme using a set of 64 characters uh, with the equal sign as a pad. Um, so to decrypt this, the easiest way I found to do that is to echo it and then paste in our string, and then pipe that to the standard input of our base64, and use that tack D option to decode rather than encode. Uh, and if we go ahead and hit enter, we can see we get our first one, which is Krypton is great. So I'll go ahead and copy that. So all this is doing is it's taking this string here, and it's just echoing it to the standard output, and this pipe here is saying take the standard output from this and pipe it to the standard input of this command, which will give us the decryption of our string here and that's what we see is outputted. So let's go ahead and do our SSH now. So SSH, tack P to specify the port, and that port is 2231 from the website. The username to log in is krypton1 at krypton.labs.overthewire.org. It's gonna go ahead and prompt us for that password. We'll just go ahead and paste it. That krypton is great, and we're in. So that's the first level done. So let's go ahead on to the second one. So the password for level two is in the file krypton2 and it's encrypted using a simple rotation. So let's go check that out. So cd slash krypton krypton1 so that's a directory that we're going to be working in and we should see the krypton2 file. Yep there it is. So there's our krypton2. And there's also a readme file here so let's go ahead and just take a look at that. So we can use our cat command uh, cat readme and there's the readme file. So this game is intended to give hands-on experience with cryptography and cryptanalysis. It's kind of like what I was saying. Uh, although there are excellent public tools like Cryptool to perform these simple analysis, we strongly encourage you to try these and do these without them for now. So I'm going to take that uh, probably to the extreme for this. There are some tools that aren't like Cryptool that just breaks it for you, but does like frequency analysis and stuff like that. I want to make all the tools myself, um, whether that's through a Python script or a Bash script or uh, some kind of command line tool. Uh, I don't want to use the internet. I want to do everything from grassroots, and I know that's going to make it take um, a lot longer to solve these challenges, but I think getting the understanding of how it works by making your own scripts is the best way to learn it. And that's what these labs are for. They're for you to learn. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing here. So the first level is easy. The password for level 2 is in the file Krypton2. It's encrypted using a simple rotation called ROT13. So ROT13 is a monoalphabetic cipher. And what that means is you have a set of input characters which maps to a set of output characters. And the input characters will always map to a specific output character, and it will always be one-to-one. -one. So one input maps to one output. There's never a time where one input will map to multiple outputs or anything like that. Anytime you enter in, for example, say the letter A, it will always pop out with the same letter. Um, so for example, in ROT13, everything just translates 13 letters down. So for A, it's going to translate 13 down, which if you count it is N. So anytime you input the letter A into your plain text, the ciphertext is going to encrypt to N. So if we go ahead and cat this Krypton2 file, we can see we have this encrypted string. And we can already kind of tell that this A here at the end is going to encrypt to, or decrypt rather, uh, to N. And this B here is going to be the letter after that, which is O. Um, so there's, there's ways to do this without going uh, letter by letter. So the way that I'm going to do this is the same way that we did it before with the base64. So we're going to echo and then grab this. Or actually, we could just do cat. So we can say cat Krypton2 and then pipe that into our tr command. And what tr is, uh, it's a translate command. So what it's going to take is two arguments. So the first argument is a set of characters that it's translating from. And then the second argument is a set of letters that it's going to be translating to. So the letters from is just going to be all of the letters in the alphabet from A to Z, all capital. So I'll go ahead and grab that string here rather than type it all out. So this is just A through Z, all capital. And what we're translating to is 13 letters down. So what we want to do is I'm going to grab this string here and I'll break it down. So this string here is just N all the way to Z and then A all the way to M. So the first letter of this, uh, the, the set that we're translating from, is going to translate to the, uh, the first letter 
of the set that we're translating to. So A is going to translate over to N, B is going to translate over to O, C to P, and so on and so forth. So Z all the way at the end is going to translate to M. So if we go ahead and hit enter on this, so there we go. So we can see level two password rotten. And so that's going to be our password for level two. There's a shorthand way to do this. Uh, so if I do krypton2 and our tr command, so our first set here can be just a tag z. Uh, and this is just specifying this exact character string. This is just the, the shorthand way to write it. And the shorthand way to write this one here is to write n through z and then concatenate that onto a through m. And the way to do that is just to write n through z oops, n through z, and then a through m just right, uh, right after it, and that's going to concatenate it on. And we can see we get the same output, just with a lot less characters, so we don't have to do all that typing out. Um, the, the reason that n through m wouldn't work is just because it doesn't loop all the way back around. You can see this throws an error. The range points are in reverse collating sequence. Um, so just use this n through z, a through m, because it's going to go n through z all the way to the end, and then we go back up and concatenate this a through m onto it. Uh, so let's go ahead and just remember this rotten password here, and we'll go ahead and log out of this SSH session, and go into Krypton2, and go ahead and enter rotten in all caps, and there's Krypton2. So that's the second level done, uh, or the one to two level done. And in the next episode, we'll go on to the two through three, and maybe three through four, and see what we get to. Thanks for watching.